Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Do you have any family close by? Mrs. Smith? I'm afraid we need to start now. There's another service scheduled for 11. Are you expecting any other relatives or... Gladys really wanted to be here. It's her hip. She really thought the world of Fred. He, he was so good to her. Sorry for your loss. I, uh, I came for some money. Yes. Uh, I see your husband took out a loan for some repairs. Oh. I don't know anything about that. It's three months past due. I'm afraid you remain liable for the outstanding balance, which is about $6,000. Oh. Well, um... Pay for it from the money. Yes. Uh, there's the checking account with a balance of $2,200, and the money market savings account is empty. Okay. That's it. There are no other accounts. Well, what am I supposed to do?
Must be back in two weeks. You've checked this one out before. It's one of my favorites. It has a happy ending. Joyce. I'm Sarah. This is Edward. Hello. Welcome to Joyce and Boodle's bed and breakfast. Right this way. Come in. Do you have any luggage? Uh, in the car. Oh, well, as soon as you're settled, I'll help you. Okay, go right up the stairs and right to the right. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> go straight, straight, straight. I hope you like it. It's lovely. Thank you. It's kind of small. Come on, it's fine. Where's the fucking TV? Can you just humor me for once? I'm here, aren't I? Ta-da! Do you mind? This is our room. And this is my house. And these are my cookies. I thought you might like something to nibble on. I know it's been a long day. No, take them all. Thank you. That's yes. very kind of you. Only one for you. You're a little fat. you something else? No, thank you. Edward left. He went into town. Oh. Is there something wrong with the food? No. No, it's delicious. We're just not very hungry this morning. Well then, never mind. No big deal. You mentioned you have a husband? I did. He, uh, he died last month. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Still so soon. Must be hard for you. It's different. You know... It's such a lovely day outside. Do you want to go for a walk? Hmm? A walk? He was up on the roof fixing something. They think he had a heart attack or he slipped. I guess we'll never know. Do you have any kids? Um, no. So, what brings you here? I am trying to write a book. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, that sounds interesting. What's it about? Well, I don't actually know yet. <laughs> but it's set somewhere like this, so I thought that the strip might help. But men can be difficult, right? Yeah. He can be rough. You mean physical? Oh, God, no, nothing like that. It's just, he's strong-willed, I guess. I don't like him. Oh. Forgive me if I seem blunt. No, it's okay. It's the kind of thing my mother would say. Do you see her often, your mother? She passed a few years ago. Right after my father. Broken heart, I think. It's been hard the last few years. She and I used to talk a lot. Thank you. For listening, I mean. It's meant. Thank you. You asked about children. Oh, I didn't mean to pry like that. I'm sorry. I was just curious. You know, it's the writer in me. The truth is, I would have done anything for a baby. It just never worked out. Edward. We're leaving. What? I found a new place. I'll pack up. I like it here. I don't. But this is all paid for. You said it was guaranteed. Don't worry, just go with them. I know how it is. Relationships aren't easy. Go, go. This is so embarrassing. I'm so sorry about all of this. There we go. Sarah! Let's keep in touch. Good luck. Careful. There was nothing left for her. He was gone. But the hope that the love she once felt could find her again still lived in her heart. Two, three. Going through, do you have another one? No, could you, um, could you please try again? Nope. You must be doing it wrong. Two, three, four, twenty. Is that it? Please let me go by. Do you like to watch the young boys? Yeah. Makes me wonder what you're looking for. <sighs> you have something for us? Nothing in there. Oh. Come on. Anything? Anything for me? Oh, you seem afraid, Mrs. Smith. Get in there, bro. 
What else can you offer? Huh? I can't hear you. <laughs> what, what? you. You want me to do what? You slut! No wonder you come around here so often. Yeah? Oh. Bet you'd like a good fuck, wouldn't you? Yo, Wade! Probably hasn't had one of those in years. Any takers? <laughs> Oh, you, you, oh, you fucking bitch! Ow. What the hell's going on here? Get away from me! Are you okay? Go get away from me! Must have been hurt. Oh, don't touch me! Don't touch me! I just, I want to go home. I want to go. Right. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. are going well for you. I enjoyed getting to know you during our brief visit. I finally came to my senses with Edward. Thanks again for your honesty. You actually gave me the wake-up call that I needed. I'll be forever grateful. The book's coming along, slowly, but with Edward gone, there's one less distraction. Dear Sarah, it was so lovely to receive your letter. Life has been very full since I saw you last. I am becoming an entrepreneuress. With the off-season coming up, I have decided to turn this place into a nice, longer-stay hotel. I can't charge as much, but the room stays occupied. Good luck. Thank you. My last tenant just found a cheaper room to move to, so she left me a couple of days ago. But I am becoming more proactive. You're looking for a room? Yeah, just got to town. Looking for a place to stay for a while. Oh. I know that place. It's already been rented. By someone long-term, in fact. They probably just... just forgot to take this down. But guess what? What? Today's your lucky day. Because I have a room that has just become available. Do you? Mm hmm Would you like to see it? Sure. Why not? Oh. Um, I'm Joyce. Bob. That is a very nice name. I found a new tenant today. Here is your living room. A mysterious sort of a new man. television with a remote control. I just happened to run into him at the library. Here is your kitchen. <laughs> it was such a fortuitous encounter. I think it's meant to be. addition to her home.
Oh, can I get you another cup of coffee? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Fresh hot coffee. Thanks. Mm. Um, I'll, I'm gonna go clean up. Okay. Enjoy. What are you doing? Can I help you with something? Oh, you scared me. I'm just changing your sheets. Do you do that every day? Well, of course. You don't have to do that. It's nothing. Did you forget something? Uh, yeah. Do you like sports? Uh-huh. Football, mostly. Oh, me too! <laughs> well, um, this place is great, by the way. Thank you very much. And, uh, thanks for the sheets. You're welcome. Well, I'm guessing you're quite the sports fan. Oh, uh, my son. He's coming to stay for a while. He loves football. You know, he's got it all here. He's got every football game and sports that you can think of. He and his new bride are expecting a baby. I can't wait to have a youngster running around the house again. Well, congratulations. Is this your first grandchild? Yes. You know, I tell you, there's nothing like them. Kids, you just kind of learn to survive, but grandkids... They're a real gift. Welcome home. Oh, thank you. I got satellite. It has a channel that shows nothing but football. No kidding. I thought you might like it. You can watch whenever you want. That's great, but you really didn't have to do that. I know. <laughs> it's very generous of you, Joyce. I appreciate it. Want to watch? Uh, yeah, in just a minute, okay? Excuse me. Thank you. 
If I join you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Please. I love football. Oh my God, it's an amazing play. Amazing. I mean, this guy's this guy's a beast. He's handsome and a beast. Come on, ref. What? Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Would you like another? Huh? Another beer? Um, yeah, I would love one. Oh, but Joyce, you gotta let me pay for these, okay? Oh, nonsense. It's nothing. What was that? I don't know. Oh! There you are. No. Wanna come get it? <clears throat> Didn't think so. It's different. Hey. Why are you guys throwing stuff at the house for? What does it matter to you? Well, she's just a sweet old woman. I was thinking maybe you guys could leave her alone, never come back, you know? Hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Fuck you. What'd you say? <laughs> If I so much as see you look at that woman again, I'll rip your fucking eyes out, do you understand? Dad, give me a hand, bro. Bob, are you all right? I'm fine. Trust me, I've dealt with far worse than those punks. Come sit, let me get you that No, beer. no, it's okay. I, I gotta head out for a little bit. He was her hero and her protector, keeping her safe from her own demons and from all the danger that lurked around her. <gasps> you know, I know this is your room, but I think I might clear out your things and offer it to Bob. Did you hear that? There's a new man in the house now. A real man. Got your missed call. Oh, I just left. I'm oh, sorry. No, I'm I'm already home. I don't think so. Yeah, you can't come over. All right, another time. Bye bye.
she learned to long for his touch, the gentle strength of a man in love. The warmth of his body against her filled her with comfort and kindness. The caresses from his strong hands made her feel like a beautiful queen. Dear Sarah, I was so happy to read your last letter. It warms my heart to know someone as wonderful as you is out there thinking about me. I wish you could meet Bob. He is so helpful. I don't know what I would do without him. Oh, Bobby, I need your help. I'm pretty self-reliant, but it's nice to be pampered if you know what I mean. Are you okay? What is it? Uh, silly me. I, I can't quite reach my towel. Do you mind? Uh, yeah, sure. Here you go. You, you got it? Yeah, got it. Dear Joyce, how exciting to have someone new in your life. I'm actually loving the single life. Dear Sarah, Bob and I are spending even more time together. Oh, Bob? Can you, can you give me a ride to the library on your motorcycle? <laughs> well, unfortunately, I only have the one helmet. Oh, I, I don't need a helmet. I know you're a good motorcycle driver. <laughs> well, um, I wouldn't want to hurt that gorgeous head of yours. Oh, thank you. I, um, okay. <laughs> um, I guess I can, I can walk. It's good for my muscles. <laughs> he took me out on his motorcycle today i had never been on one before can you believe it we had so much fun to tell you the truth it was sort of romantic he's got quite a big appetite it's nice having someone to cook for who was so appreciative for a change Joyce and Boodle's B&B &B extended stays welcome. Joyce, hi, it's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I'm taking a spur of the moment road trip, and I thought that I would stay in your area a couple days. Maybe get some writing done. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, I was thinking that I could stop by for a visit, if you're around. Maybe meet Bob. Oh, okay, of course. I said you're welcome any time, didn't I? It'll only be for an hour or two. I'll be in a hotel. Oh, that's nonsense. Why don't you stay with us? We have another guest room now. The overwhelming smell of her expensive perfume wafted through the front door. And as she brushed past, there was the distinct smell of trouble growing. Moody, I think she's here. Wonderful. Thank you. I'm so pleased that you came to see us. This is beautiful. Thank you. It was Fred's study, but I thought it best to make new memories and move on. That's a big step. Very brave of you. I think you'll like Bob. He's such a sweet man. What does he do? Oh, he is good at so many things. That. <laughs> does he work? I'm sure he does. He's very busy, but we just stay out of each other's business. Not like my husband, Fred, who is much more demanding. He was very difficult to live with. Um. He could be quite abusive, in fact. Did he hit you? 
That was just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, Trace, I had no idea. You never mentioned... I didn't want to say anything at the time. He had just died. It's not the kind of thing you can tell just anybody. No, of course not. Anything you say stays between the two of us. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm a friend of Joyce's. Just here for a few days. Sarah, right? Yeah. Did you mention me? Just that you were coming. I'm Bob. Joyce talks a lot about you. She does? Sarah, I want to show you. Oh. I, I, I see you've met Bob. Yeah. I was planning to introduce you. But oh well. You must be hungry. I'm going to cook you something to eat. No, don't do that. Do you want to go out? Just us girls. My treat. Um, Bob and I normally spend the evenings in. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Go! He loves his football. Well, then a night out will be something special. All right. Uh, I know a place not too far. You've been here before? Oh, yes. Bob loves it. We come here often. <laughs> Can I get you something, honey? Thank you. But I do have a question. Yes. Um, you know my friend Bob, who comes in here all the time? Bob, I, he's tall, dark, and handsome, and he drives a motorcycle. Oh, Bob, right. He comes in here all the time. Quite a ladies' man. Sure, you're okay, Joyce. You look tired. You should go to bed. That's probably a good idea. Sweet dreams, Sarah. Oh, Bob, I'm home. She's writing about us. She... Oh, hi. Hi. I was, um, I was just loving. I'm getting a lot done. I think I'm on a roll. Thank you. Oh, if, if you need anything, let me know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pues dile que ya no voy a regresar y ya. Can I help you? I just heard you talking. Sorry, was I too loud? I just hope everything's okay. Oh, that? No, no need to worry about me. I may bark sometimes, but really all I want is a belly rub. Okay. Never mind.
I didn't know you were there. I heard a noise. Sorry, I was trying to be quiet. Are you hurt? Uh, this? Nah. Just got into a little fight. Let me see. Morning, Joyce. Do you need a hand? No. What a beautiful day. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I, I'll get a towel. It's all right. We got it. We got it. We? Can I help you with anything? Why do you keep asking if you can help me? Do I look helpless to you? Trace, I want to talk to you about Bob. I just wonder how well you actually know him. Well, I like to think that I know him quite well. But after last night, perhaps you know him a good deal better. I didn't mean to. Is that what happens in your book? The guests fornicate while the lady of the house is trying to sleep? Look, I, I was just trying to learn more about him for your sake. Oh, look at you. Little orphan Annie, sacrificing herself for the old lady who throws herself at every man she sees because she can't face the fact she has no one. <clears throat> I have some disinfecting to do. Right, dear? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. Just allergies. Do you know Joyce? Yeah, I'm a friend. That's nice. She never did have very many friends, at least that I knew about. Did you know Fred? No. I met her after he left. That's a shame. Have you known them a long time? Thirty years, I guess. <sighs> she and I used to be pretty close at one time. What happened? She was never quite the same after the baby. Baby? She was pregnant, you know, until Fred found out about it. What do you mean? She tried to hide it until she couldn't. She knew that Fred didn't like kids. He got so mad. He told her to get rid of him. Really? It was lovely to meet you. Come by any time, dear. Sheila comes twice a day. She's my nurse. Otherwise, it's just me. 
Did she tell you she tried to steal Fred from me? No. Well, she did. She doesn't seem like the type. Well, you didn't know her when she was a snotty, pretty girl with big breasts. And he would spend the day over there while I was home cooking his dinner and washing his laundry. What, you think I'm lying? Of course not. She's a lonely old lady. I was just trying to be polite. You're leaving? Obviously, things are a little bit tense between us, and I think it's better to move on. Yes, it's probably right. I'm sorry for how things have turned out between us, Joyce. Thank you for everything that you have done for me. She's senile, you know. I saw you outside earlier and I thought, you know what? It is time to finally bury that hatchet. So I want to see if I can be of help to you. Oh, it's been a long time since I had you. Look how beautiful you look. I know you do. You know, I met your friend today. Very pretty girl. Sarah? Oh, she's not exactly a friend. I was just trying to be nice to her. Her boyfriend kicked her out. He beat her. She just left. She went back to him. It's pitiful. It's a shame. So, what did you talk to her about? Nothing. It's just so good to see you. You know you're always welcome here. Thank you. Where's Sheila? She'll be back in another hour. Oh, good. Just stay for a while. It's about this time of day you get very tired. Oh. So just lay back a little bit. Well, let me, let me help you here. Lie down. Let me get you back. There you go. Let me take your shoes off. How about that? This one off. Here. That's so sweet. Oh, let's put your feet up on it. Ouch. Um, do you need a hand with the pillows? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. oh no, well, here, come on. Let me see if I can make you really comfortable. Joyce, are you okay? 
my neighbor passed away and she was old. It's no surprise. But, but I'm, I'm just so sad. <laughs> you sit down. Please. Thank you. Welcome. This will help. Oh, thank you. Welcome. By the way, where's um, Sarah? Her room is empty. Oh. Uh, yes, she she had to leave. Um, it was just a short visit. Oh. Well, that's. Did she did she say anything or mention me? Oh. No. Um, well, if you don't mind, I'd like to get her number. I'd love to contact her. Oh, I'm not sure you would. She went back to patch up things with her husband. I heard her crying on the phone earlier. That's why she left so quickly. Poor thing. I see. Excuse me. Hello. Hello there. Something for me? Actually, no, it's for a Robert Valenzuela. Oh. Good sign. What do I do? With your finger? My finger? Yes, your finger. And then hit the accept button. Accept. Right. Thank you. Handsome man. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, ma'am. This is our house. We should be able to open it. Maybe there's something under the bed. Let's see what we got. What are you doing in here? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. You scared me. I was just, uh, I was looking for fur balls. <laughs> he just decides to park himself on your bed. Um, you had a delivery. Oh, yeah? And were you going to hide under there, too? No. What else have you been doing in here? I was just checking to make sure everything is in working order. Well, I think the room is just fine, which is more than I can say about your head, Joyce. If you're going to be Is this why Sarah left? Because you're snooping around? She felt used, if you must know. You made her feel cheap. You need help, Joyce. I have the right to know what goes on in my house. Come on, little one. Let's go. We're going to get chicken, and we're going to get tuna, and we're going to get good things. Get out of my way. Well, I think from now on I'm going to be doing my own sheets, okay? Fine. Fine. Mrs. Smith, Dr. Singh can see you now. You're having trouble sleeping. Ever since my husband died, I am just exhausted. You notice any other changes besides your sleep pattern? Mm, not really. Any depression? Suicidal thoughts? No. Okay. I can prescribe you something. I think it'll help. How strong is it? It's not too strong. I want to start you on a low dosage. Is it like one of those over-the-counter ones? Because I've tried them. They don't work. Please, doctor. I am so tired of lying awake all night. Oh. Okay. Start you with one. And if you feel the need, you can increase your dose to two, but no more than two in a 12-hour period. Okay? I've got it. Thank you so much. Bob? 
Oh, God, you scared me. Look, we have nothing to discuss, no, all no, right? No, 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 wait, wait, please. I want to apologize for my bad behavior. I, uh, I, 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 I never like burying my soul, but I, I feel I owe you an explanation. Look, your apology is enough. Thank no, you. No, no, no. Wait, wait. I had a son once, Tommy, and he died. I'm sorry. Why didn't you say anything, Joyce? It's too upsetting for me to talk about. And you remind me of him. It makes me wonder what things would have been like if he hadn't gotten sick. And what happened to him? He had kidney failure. He needed a transplant, but we couldn't find a donor. He was only 16. I just want you to know so you, you would understand my silliness. Well, it's all right, okay? Your room was his bedroom. And I know it's nuts that I, I act like your mother, but it's just it makes the house feel more like a home again. I'm, I'm flattered, Joyce. Thank you. Um, I'm going to cook Indian food for dinner tonight. Would you like to join me? It was Tommy's favorite. You haven't said anything about yourself. Do you, do you have family? Um, yeah, I have three brothers that I never talked to. Oh, my goodness. House full of men. Yeah, well, a house full of fighting. What about your parents? Well, they, they divorced a long time ago, and then my mom died, and... Well, my dad, he might as well be dead. No one has any fucking clue where the hell he's at. I'm sorry. You poor boy. Oh, no. It's nothing compared to what you've been through. Here's to Tommy. May he rest in peace. You know, a special toast deserves something really special. Finish up your food. Has anybody ever told you you're a dangerous woman? I hope that's a good thing. You're a dangerous woman. Here you go. Ugh. To Tommy. To Tommy. <sighs> oh, Joyce. <laughs> you see what you're doing to me? <laughs> you sure know how to throw a party, though, I must say. Thank you. <laughs> well, I think we've had enough food. I'm going to clear. Oh, no, here, let me help you oh, clean this stuff. I, 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 oh, no, no, no. Oh, my. Right. Hold on. I, uh, I don't. Give me a, give me a second, okay?
He was tall, dark, and handsome, and oh so strong. He embraced her first with his eyes from afar, until they finally met. her path. He rushed to her, lifting her up, and wrapped his muscular arms all around her body, hoping for forever, kissing her deeply with the promise of, I love you, I love you, I love you. time. It was just me or did we have a heavy night last night? Oh, you drank quite a lot. I did? Mm-hmm. I don't remember. I'm not surprised. I don't feel hungover. How do you feel? I feel fine. But I have more self-control. Is everything all right? I don't know. I was thinking about life. The unfairness of it all. The things we want, the things we can't have. Why would you want to be thinking about stuff like that this early in the morning, Joyce? That's the thing with people like you. You think you're invincible, that you're never going to grow old, and that you can have anything you want. I, I don't feel very invincible right now, trust me. You should go take a shower. There's no breakfast. You woke too late. Certified letter for Mr. Bob Valenzuela. Oh, uh, I'll take it. It needs to be signed by the recipient. Well, uh, he's not here. He lives here, and I sign his stuff. I'll have to leave him a notice. Uh, he can come by the post office anytime to pick it up. Thank you, Minnie. Oh, Bob, when did you get back? Uh, there's the rest of your mail. Thank you very much. 
very much. Is that something important? I guess I'll know when I open it. Was it good news? I'm leaving, Joyce. You're what? I'm leaving. So. Why? Jesus, Joyce, if you even have to ask that question. Well, you, you, you paid rent for a full month. I'll just keep it. Well, you're not leaving right away, are you? Can't you stay a little longer? I'm making beef stew for dinner. That was Tommy's favorite. Tommy, huh? You know, it's a little odd that there's no photos of Tommy anywhere. Don't you think that's a little strange, Joyce? I told you it was too painful after he died. Yeah, I'm sure it was. You wouldn't understand. By the way, this letter is from Sarah. Thanks for your help with that, Joyce. Bob, you forgot something. Personal as that. She's not saying anything mean about me yet. Pooty. She's pregnant. It's going to be a beautiful baby. So sad. Poor baby coming into the world with no father. Just imagine. And Sarah, she's all alone. So, what if something happens to her? Oh. It would just be terrible. Dear Sarah, I am so sorry for my angry, hurtful words. I was in such a dark place after Fred's death and my own longing for a child. A daughter, in fact, just like you. It was all too much for me to bear. I have recently come into a small inheritance from a distant relative. Not much, but enough to take a break and do a little traveling like I always wanted. I thought I might visit Australia, in fact. If you can find it in your heart to forgive me, I have an interesting proposition for you. Why don't you come and stay while I'm gone? I would feel much better knowing the house is being watched and you would have all the peace and quiet you need to finish that book of yours. I should have died a little closer. Bob is still with me. But he's in and out so much. I would feel better with you here. Expect to be leaving pretty soon. Oh, thank you. And there's that for you. Let me know. All my love, Joyce.
glad he couldn't have stayed longer. There was a chance we could have been happy. You're going to be getting a new mommy for a while, but don't worry about it because it won't be for long. Okay? You keep an eye on her. She's nice and all, but she's not a happy person. a kind offer. Well, all good writers deserve some peace and quiet, right? Woman next door selling her house? Oh, uh, she died. How sad. Well, when it's your time, it's your time. And I was told that she died in her sleep very peacefully. Oh, let me help you with those bags. Oh, you don't have to do that. No, 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 let me help you, let me help you. I is Bob here? Uh, no, he's gone, I'm afraid. Where'd he go? I have no idea. But you know, it's the strangest thing. The day you called, right after we talked, in fact, he received a letter. It was certified. Must have been terrible news, because he just packed up and he just left and he didn't say where he was going. But I wouldn't worry. I'm sure he will be back at any moment. I told him that you were coming. You should have seen the look on his face. Let's get some coffee. Hi. See, so you planted a new tree. Mm hmm. It's a baby apple tree. Well, it's nice to hear things have turned around for you. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting all over again, getting a second chance at life. I'm going to make up for all the things I was never able to do. Oh, here, let me help you. Oh, no, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Can I take your bag now? Thank you. Yes. Have an amazing trip. Oh. I'm nervous. <laughs> You're gonna have so much fun. Thank you. Well, take good care of yourself. You too. <laughs> and take good care of Boodle. He likes the little carrots. He plays with them and then he eats them. Thank oh, you. Okay. Oh, oh, here I go. Have fun. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Travel safe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye. 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 Have a good one.